Hey, good morning, all. I have some trades on here, some pre market trades here, guy. I kind of miss here. I step away. I could get the drop at the bottom here, but uh, it's coming into 8 30. So, what I would actually do, I would take the win here on uh, NQ. Two six to center win and NQ. I have the two micros on. Why I wasn't doing much, I can take that off for eight dollar win. And I would hold on to this NQ uh, micro. See if we could come back and test around 40. And I would take it off. But the reason for that play was this, guys. Market wasn't doing market. NQ was kind of weak, you know, early this morning. See this? Just chop around, right? So I took the trade around here. Seven something, right? 715. I'll put a stop on a walk away. And uh, I was checking it on my phone. I see the market keep going down. So I rushed back to my desk. And grab the win. So this was the play right here. I put it on here, right here. All right. It's not bad. So got a nice drop here. Huh? See if he could come back. I would get out to this micro here before it turned. If we got durable goods, and maybe I hold this micro through durable goods. So let me bring up um, financial juice. And so I could actually hear what's happening here. You know, this market going to trade sideways, am I, guys? Uh, into Thursday. This is what I think may happen. Everybody waiting for jobless claim number tomorrow, PC prices number tomorrow, right? And then plus we have Jackson Hole, where the Fed would be presenting and everybody's looking for what they're going to be saying about uh, tapering, any timeline, that kind of stuff. So the market going to trade sideways to down, I think, today. You know, unless durable goods, it's the numbers. You know, I don't know which way they will take durable goods. I mean, so. If the numbers are bad, are they rally it up, hoping that they would hold off tapering? If the numbers go, we we'll see what the price action going to be. So I'm looking for this guy to come back and test 40, or at least here, 38, 39, 40. And we see what happened to durable goods. We have four more minutes, approximately four more minutes. You know, it was so tough to make money during uh, the cash session, the first hour with the algos, the price action is so vicious. Um, I find pre-market is where you get the edge before the algos kicks in, right?
short momentum setup. Trend filter bearish. And you gradually coming down, so don't mind holding a micro into the numbers. You could always close it out, but if it in the E mini, you could be down in a heartbeat. ECB's land says the ECB is willing to move it. The Fed policy creates spillovers. Trend filter neutral. One minute remaining. I will be reading the US durable goods first. See what happened with durable goods here, guys. This is where we are here on MQ micro. We up 28 bucks. So that durable goods number, guys, actual, they were looking for minus 0.3%. It came in at 0.1%, minus 0. Point. Durable goods actual came in at 0.7%. They were looking for 0. 0.5. So the numbers are actually better. So I take off my uh, micro here around the same price. It dropped to like 40, uh, 35 bucks. Uh, but I take it off now. So once I digest the number, then the price action going to change, and uh, don't know where they're going to take it after that. So, so we make a quick two hundred and ninety-five dollars for the morning. So not bad, am I? Look for another trade. <laughs> 